Say again. Uh, today we're back with another map of Swedish cities. This is not very precise or specific. It just tells you that it's big and small Swedish cities from north to south. Um, yep, don't really know what to uh, do with that information. Uh, so let's just jump in and see what we get. Uh, we'll start with everything enabled. Hmm. Okay, we start off on a small this kind of area where everything is built the same so that's I'm not sure like this looks like a Stockholm sign but that does not uh, the coverage is a bit shoddy here uh, maybe it's out on leading us somewhere um, I don't know like I feel like they have a lot of crap uh, coverage I mean but it's still like a, a fairly big island here and I do not know what I'm even looking for to figure out where where we are. Linda Gordsag and <coughs> if we can backtrack to that later. This looks like streets are getting smaller and smaller, but this Linda Gordsag and it just keeps keeps going, keeps going. So we'll just follow that until I don't even know if I'm still on it. So we're on a school and then it ends. Um, we will just. I don't really have anything that suggests that we are here, that we are in Lidlinga. But here we have a slightly larger road as well. We have some soccer fields everything is a dead end here though here we have some bus stop that checks out I think this is leading out. Uh, this is Stockholm in general, right? Mm -hmm. um, so at least we're in Stockholm. I, th I still think it's highly probable that we are in uh, leading out. Uh, Gordes bag and so this is a uh, east western hmm. 
no. I mean, we can obviously be elsewhere as well. Maybe we can see that bus with. Lura, I have no idea. Is that a I mean could we be elsewhere like Okay, we have some. Okay, so Solentuna and Vellingby is more so Solentuna is up here. Building these down here, so we are more like. And here, I think we have Sargordsvägen, Lundagordsvägen. Started pretty much anywhere, but let's see if we can. Elv Kvarn. Here we go. Oh, all of them are. Oh, wait, that comes out and then. Okay, now we know. Grönsvägen, Sörgårdsvägen. So Grönsvägen, we came out here. I think we came out like here then. There's a little bit of parking somewhere here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Tricky, tricky to find a place in Stockholm like that. Hack wagon. Let's move in towards these buildings. See if we can get anything that's uh, unusual. Street name sign. That's a dead end. Let's go elsewhere. How can we get out of this? That's a dead end. Okay. So now we're out on a little bit of an open. Okay. Lund to the southeast. Lund center to the southeast. come out here somewhere maybe see if we here we wagon star wagon here wagon actually Here feels like someone moved those around. Uh, so let's jump back to the beginning, and then we're walking west into Hack Bag, and it was. Zoom back in here. Um, turn hack. So I guess we're here. Well, here's an easy one. I guess Gothenburg University. Just by the main entrance. Um, a lot of other directions, I guess, but where I, I actually don't know where the university building is. Um, but they did. 
did. So where are we? We're like we're literally like on this probably this little street here with the parking and in the middle. Yep. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on. A lot of is that a railway? Yeah, uh soon so yeah, this is Karlskrona and we're coming Vasagatan. So we have um, up here up the railway here and up Vasagatan somewhere, right? And we were like one, two buildings up there. Nice one. Elves beams commune. I don't know where that is. It sounds north. <laughs> it sounds Thrasses here is also like a hamburger chain that is fairly unique to the north. Um, now we get snow on the coverage here as well. We have 94 to Arvidsjaur and then 356 and 374. So let's see, we backtrack from Arvidsjaur here and 94 Elspin. Did we start by let's jump back? Okay, so we I think we started here. So this is the bend around this is that one street and we're Yeah, cool, fair enough. Full points, 11 minutes. Where does that place us? Spot number seven. Okay, let's try the same one then without moving and see how that affects things. Lugagatan, Kadetgatan. Is that Skåne trafiken green or is it, oh, who else has green buses? Number one though, where could that be? I know of a cadet gatan in Malmö and that's not this one. So it could be one in Lund. But I have no idea where the bus lines would go. names I don't even know what that would be would it be so here we have like professions maybe no like how far out do you need to go to get these sorts of it could be Helsingborg as well, but I don't necessarily think this area is the correct type for these sorts of houses. Sure. 
like this who has the other green buses the, the, the style these brick houses does feel a bit southern otherwise but Okay, let's do a very quick check in Helsingborg as well. Whoop, Cadet Gatan, actually. It should somehow intersect with something called the leader got that and it doesn't so and this looks like a different like bigger buildings okay so we can exclude that then hmm I don't know maybe it's not I feel like maybe I've seen green buses in Uppsala at some point. Falling for it being Skåne. It's very annoying when you find a street name that fits and then it doesn't, it's not the right one. I mean, it also has to be big enough for a bus to actually go through. I mean, and the number one bus. Additionally, no, I'll stick to here then and hope for the best. Um, and maybe we can get close. No, not there then. Actually, where? Oh my god! That was very, very, very outskirt of Uppsala. Annoying. I think I just scanned within here. Yeah, well, that was that was annoying for sure. Kolbeck's uh, got on and Cannot make that one out. It is a problem. This one is the end street there. Um, I mean, this makes sense for for Malmo. It makes sense for something like. Like maybe out towards here. What's it again? Cool. Has a lot of those uh, dead end. Streets where you can't really drive through. I know because I've gotten stuck in these areas, but it doesn't really. Southwest. Yeah, so it's 
something like that maybe. was actually Malmö still, but uh, let's see, okay, where is this Apples Stadium, okay, Gammel Stad, that one will say Jokmåken Borden, this is outside of Luleå, Gammelstad and here, and as you can see, this number 97 goes past Borden and it will continue up to Jokmok. So we're definitely on this one then. And it says 800 meters. Um, oh, the question is if it's this exit, and then you go up here, or if it's no, no, yeah, no, it's definitely here then. Um, oh, what would be? And then there's one on the other side for the E4. Yeah. So, and we're basically just coming off that one, so we might be even further down here. Yeah, that was decent for being in the middle of a freeway. Kultorps Vägen. Oh, here I am completely lost. Someone building this house. This one is like the odd one out, I guess. The rest seem to be brick houses, mostly. No, it's just... just <laughs> any any town any city um, I'm still thinking south but what am I thinking realistically I don't know let's go with uh, Okay, okay. I'm I'm happy with that. I would never have found that, I guess, but that's a decent guess. Uh, Saint Pauli Gatan von Platens Gatan. Oh. Von Platen. Where does he have some sort of relevance? one way or another parking instructions so you can see here we don't have the same sort of like brick houses here so we're probably a bit further north um, fairly big houses though and this kind of I mean I, I it's a slightly hilly as well I mean but this this can literally be anywhere I feel like who was Pontlot though I can't it out. I'm going 
gonna go for like well I do have the street names to exclude but it's like something like here I don't really know if we have enough like altitude difference the problem with a lot of these names is that they just pop up in in every city somewhere and sometimes they're like centrally and sometimes they they are like in the middle of a residential area like here. Like a drew that sounds yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just go out here. Okay, Yen Shafing. So sixteen thousand points we got a decent one guess in Malmo and very good one in Kyrhanska. The yeah, that was the annoying one I guess. And didn't mean to open that one up. Lulio was a very good one as well. Let's see where that took us. It took us to a seventh place here on on the map. I'm not gonna bother with the NMPZ. So yeah, um, maybe this is a good map to continue with in the future. So um, let's see if we can beat well, either the time with moving around or the score with not moving around. Why not try that out tomorrow? So I'll, I'll see you then.